Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream, everybody. We are playing Sea of Thieves Rush again on a Friday. TGIF. I'm so glad the weekend is upon us. I uh, <laughs> I need some sleep. We had broken sleeps again last night. It's not been a fun time. And uh, had to go lay with my son to help him go to sleep. And I think I caught a cold that he might have been carrying because I've been sneezing a little. So hopefully I can catch... Any of those sneezes that come out of my mouth and flip up my mic before I blast your eardrums, but uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So Sea of Thieves Rush, um, I'm streaming on Mixer this morning, so a little different. Uh, a lot of people on Mixer probably haven't heard of what Sea of Thieves Rush is. It's a little mini game that I devised, and it's documented on the YouTube channel. If you look at it, uh, hashtag SOT Rush, you will find lots and lots of YouTube videos that I've dropped already. Um, relating to and including rushes some successful some not um, so check those out but yeah the rush you get boots in the sand on another island you then can get anything that you need to to hand in to any uh, vendor for reputational gold um, so that can be hunters that can be merchant you, know, you name it just anything that you can hand in um, and get something back for so it sounds easy but it's uh, a PVE environment so what you're you're faced with is Krakens, Megs, other players, Skellies, um, any other surprises that they've added to uh, to <laughs> the updates that come our way so uh, yeah it's uh, it can be quite challenging and what I find with the rush is if I do it really quickly and it, it works out really simple I'll just add another one to the the gameplay to the stream because I have half an hour every morning before uh, before I go to work where I've allocated just to do a rush uh, video and put it out there so um, it works really well for me because I work from home I don't have a commute and uh, so it's kind of my what would be my commute time so it, it kind of goes, it's not visible as far as family goes because it's it's what I would be doing if I was driving to a location. I would be away for that, you know, half an hour from 8 till 8.30 whilst I'm making my way to wherever I would work. So so I, I just kind of think of it as a kind of like an invisible window that I can... I could use just to do something that I want to do. And to be honest, I look forward to the rush every day. It's a lot of fun. Um, oh, look at that. It's a lot of fun to do, um, a lot of fun to bring to you guys. I do it for my enjoyment. Uh, if you guys like it, great. If you don't, well, you know, comment below, tell me what I'm doing wrong. I loved it. Like, that's wrong. That was terrible. So concept of the rush is do everything as quickly as possible in the time frame allotted I have a timer at the bottom of the screen you guys should be able to see it there and uh, so it's up anchor get out don't even look oh, I'm all kerfuffled because of my lack of sleep don't even look at the skyline um, look for an island in the distance um, I'm actually gonna go to shipwreck bay I've, I always seem to come out of the island and just go straight and the wind is a bit terrible today. Um, for a headwind, I don't want to go straight. So let's go to Shipwreck Bay, which I believe is this little puppy over here. Okay, and we're on our way. Now I have a chance to look around a minute or two to survey the horizon. Nothing going on, the music's not changing. Everything looks good down here. Heading to Shipwreck Bay. Okay, looks like we're on route for a good rush so far. Keep an eye on the water for explody barrels because they're now a threat in the in the area. One thing I found that the latest oh excuse me. One thing I found the latest update has um, in it is uh, you can now harpoon exploding barrels. Um, without them exploding. There might be a percentage chance that they will explode. I don't know. I've been harpooning them just fine without them exploding. Um, but you can harpoon them. So if you're sailing along, being chased by somebody, you have no way to deter them from chasing you. Uh, you could now harpoon an exploding barrel mid-combat and uh, take that on board and use that to uh, to get rid of that threat. So that's kind of nice. I might be coming into cannon range this way. It just seems a little too simple. Just the way I've come in here and I'm 
not getting hit by anything. Uh, so far, so good. So it's going to be boots in the sand in a second. There's the throne up there on the left, on top of that uh, that rock. There's a particular island. I think you need two crews cooperating to get on the throne. Um, if you're looking to do that and you can't find anybody, I recommend finding us uh, on the Sea of Thieves Discord server. Um, there's a couple of chat rooms there where you can just throw out and say, "I want to do thrones. I need somebody else that needs to do thrones. Um, can we can we team up?" And uh, you know, there's ways to to make that happen. Um, so yeah, and Sea of Thieves has promised to make it easier for people to be on the same server if they choose. Um, there's uh, Race of Legends, which is one thing that you see on Sea of Thieves, and and they work really hard to get people on the same server so that uh, you can you can race together. But um, it's tricky, you know. You, it can be a case of going in and out of servers until you find a, the server that they're on. Um, as far as I'm aware, or it might be a case of you know finding other ships and saying, hey, we need your ship to do Race of Legends. Would you be willing to? take all this treasure and allow us to, to do that. I don't know exactly how they do <laughs> Race of Legends. I've never been in one, but um, there's ways to to get on the same server. It's just not as easy as uh, as maybe it could be or should be. So I know Rare are working on that. I'm not finding anything that's hand Um Maybe a gunpowder barrel? Sometimes there's one in here. No. I'm not fi finding any emergent threats either. Um, so, I uh, don't need food. Is this, can I go around here? No, that's a long way around. There's a ship. This is the way to get to the, uh, the throne. I think you can sword thrust off of here. Let's just see if I can do it. Yeah, so anyone who's been trying to cannon up here, um, it's not necessary. You can get up this way too. I've managed it once or twice, but it's more tricky. Um, anyway, I'm not finding anything to hand in. Is there any shinies down here? Nope, I'm going to get out of here then. And, uh, oh. <laughs> Sheesh, come on, boy. What are you playing at? Okay, so... Just do a complete U-turn, I think, to get out of here. Oh, look, there's one of those chests. I could see if I could go get that. Um, depends where it's... What I've found with these, these flare things in the distance, it's hard to judge how far away they are just by a visual. And I wish... Yeah, I, I hope that that can be fixed or remedied. Maybe don't even show them on the horizon unless they're, you know five squares away and uh, only show them on the map uh, and then if they if you're getting closer then start to fade in the um, the visibility of those things because I've been at one side of the map and at completely the other side of the map it's clear as day doing that there's no clouds covering it or anything um, it seems to defy cloud color and so you can see it and it's like that that shouldn't be you know and it would be so cool if they could do the Ghostbusters clouds parting kind of ring of clouds around the top as it the, like the souls go up into the up into the sky. You know, it it, uh, <laughs> it would look so cool. So heading to Isle of Last Words. Oh, I was looking for that that thing in the sky, wasn't I? I it's I don't even see it now. Is it the one in the raw? Yeah, it's the one way over in the raw See, There's no way I'm going to be able to go over there in, in 21 minutes. But it doesn't look like it's way over in the raw. It's just, it's too visible, too close. So, I've streamed to Mixer before. My problems I've found with Mixer is sometimes I'll think the stream's going great and, and then I go back and I download the stream and I go to upload it to YouTube. <clears throat> and I get this little graphic of a disconnect um, in sections of the stream. So whole sections of the stream, it wasn't even streaming. Um, but right now I've got no drop frames or anything, so I'm pretty happy. The CPU's low, and 
So maybe maybe things are going to be better. Maybe there's been some fixes. Oh, it looks like there's barrels coming up. Or something in the water here. Maybe I can... Get something to hand in here. There's an explodey barrel. I think. No, it's not. Maybe I get some hunter's stuff. Usually on a barrel, on a rush, I don't stop for barrels. I usually, uh... Now, see, there's no, no hunter's stuff in here. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, Ooh, I want to keep the planks. Dopey docus. Okay, so this could be a hunter's rush. I have something to hand in. It's funny, this is the only... The hunter's is the only... Um, thing you hand in a, a thing from your inventory wheel. Whereas the others, you hand in physical objects that you pick up. Um, not something I've ever heard anyone kind of mention before, but it's true. It's, uh, you can hand in physical stuff, so you can hand in gems, and you can hand in... Um, uh, you know, hand in fish uh, that you've caught, but those fish go into your inventory, so although they're... They're kind of physical in the first place. <coughs> They're in your inventory once you've got them. So, which is kind of an odd thing. You know, chests don't go into your inventory, but fish do. Um, yeah, just just kind of odd, but not. They are small enough, I guess, to be able to be carried on your person. Whereas a chest wouldn't be. Although opulent curios and little knick-knacky things like that could be. So maybe they should change the inventory to allow you to carry small objects like skulls. Up to maybe up to five skulls. And and then one in your hands. So you can run with six skulls. Uh, yeah, it's just I wonder if there still needs to be some finessing in the on the whole inventory system that they put together. Just in the sense of object sizes. You know, it, it's it's no way like a real world in the sense of our real world. So, you know, whatever. They can make the game whatever they want to make the game, I suppose. Um, Alright, this is a completely hopeless island. Oh, and now I'm jammed. No! Okay, turn the other way. Turn into the island and that should cause the ship to kind of back up and reset. And turn. I kind of need to figure out where to go when I get out of here. Lonely Isle, Sanctuary, Rapriquet. I have nothing to hand in physically, so I can't go to the outpost. I need to find... That's Open Sea. I'm just going to boot it into Open Sea and look at the map. I need to find. Okay, I'm booting it into Open Sea, but I need a. Spit the words out, boy! Come on, um, a sea post. Holy moly, my brain today. It's all Swiss cheese from broken sleeps. I don't see a sea post anywhere. There are you? three paces east. That's way too far. North Star Sea Post is... I'm heading in the right direction. I might as well boot it for North Star and hopefully make it. Gotta watch the ship because it's gonna reset into a westerly direction. Always seems to straighten up. I might find something floating in the water on the way and be able to rethink my my tact here, but that's what I'm doing. I It's kind of a headwind, which is kind of stupid. Um, Almost said the SH word there. <laughs> I'm really cautious about things I say. A, because I'm streaming. And, and B, because my son, who's seven, hears these things. And he comes and tells me off. It's like, you shouldn't say bad words. Well, okay. So, trying to be better. Be more pirate and be more parent. So, don't have much to report about the Twitterverse. Falco did a superb video on 
new things found on the unnamed island on J12, I think it is. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, seen a few other videos going up for different people. Haven't been able to do much creative stuff myself. Too much time consumed with work and family. And, and I really want to push into doing better creative stuff. Better videos, but I just got to allocate more time. Although it looks like a couple of weeks from now, or or in the next week or two, I might have some more time because the person we usually sail with is uh, he got a new job and uh, his shifts have changed, and so he's working in the times we would usually stream in the evening. So and the wife has some catch up on some shows, so who knows? I might be able to do a little bit of creative stuff, and and I I'd, I'd like to do the just chatting stuff as well. So. Um, I could always stream a just chatting as I work on the video and then I can get your guys input on things I should do and things you know I'm, I'm quite new to shortcut and the editing software which is what I use um, I've used hit film before and uh, it, it wasn't quite what I expected in the sense of the way I think um, so it was a little hard to use in that sense but uh, shortcut makes sense to me in the way it storyboards and lays out. So, and uh, I can throw something together fairly quick. Although I'd like to get a little bit better at applying filters and and changing the quality of the video appearance by using color enriching filters and stuff, which is something I've not really delved into. But it's something like people like Falcor and Fuzzy uh, Fuzzy Bond do, and and they make some real quality videos. So. I th think. Where am I going? I'm like s I've turned west again, haven't I? And I'm rambling. So focus. Stay on target. Stay on target. Okay. There's the sea post in the distance. See, I I said the ship has a tendency to turn when you're sailing easterly or westerly, like southeast or northwest or something like that the ship has a tendency to turn itself either east or west um, and I think it's something to do with the way the Sun and the moon rise and set in the east and west and they've tried to make it a little bit more like a magnetic pull almost and I think that might come into the whole lore of Sea of Thieves and and uh, it's definitely something I've noticed anyway whether it's a deliberate design thing and and story driven or whether it's just just fluke I think it's probably design I can't see that something like that in this game would happen by fluke so what you guys doing in the weekend I'd love to know so comment below and let me know what you're filling your weekends with what you like to do whether you're streaming or what games you're playing, always like to chat. So if I've got viewers, don't just lurk. Please say hi. It uh, it really emphasizes that I'm a that somebody's watching, <laughs> and uh, and b that I'm uh, I'm able to have different topics and talk about different things and just up the content of my stream. So a pretty quiet sail today so far, and uh, that's going to jinx everything. The, th the wind has changed. Pay attention. I've got 12 minutes on the clock. I think I'm just going to get there and hand it in, and it's all going to be good. But, you know, Kraken and Meg and other players, all these things can, can stymie me, <laughs> including shipwrecks, because I do tend to squirrel if I see a shipwreck. There's the arena peak. And uh, skelly, skelly ships are up. I still want to see skelly sloops roaming the, the seas. You don't see the skelly sloops. You see them in the skelly uh, battle. But not individually. And skelly brigs. What's wrong with the skellies having sloops and 
and galleons and not brigs. And I'd also like it to be the case where if you clear people or clear the skellies off the skelly ship, like have two or three waves, but if you're able to clear those waves off of the skelly ship without sinking it, have the ship, have control of the ship, be able to drive it around it until such time as somebody sinks it. And that way you could, your four crew could basically take over three skelly ships and then you've got control of four ships on the Sea of Thieves. That would be so cool. It's kind of like a fleet building. Yeah, but to be able to steer and control a skelly ship if you take it over, that that just would be so cool. You know. And then you could do a raid on somebody with two ships from different directions. Of course your your capabilities would be diluted because you'd have less crew uh to man each ship, so you know, if they if rare have considered that and thought, well, that's not gonna work because there's two threats coming at somebody and not one. Well, yeah, but there's less people to manage those those ships and that, that attack capability. So let's do that rare. Let's have people capturing skelly ships and taking them over and using them. instead of their own ship. Say my ship sinks and a skelly ship comes close enough to an island and I'm alive and, and I'm able to board and take that skelly ship. I've got a ship again, you know, I, I don't have to do the whole um, die and go go to my, my ship. I, I want that. I want that. <laughs> that would be so cool. Okay, I think... Did I put the stuff in the barrel? Yeah, I did. Okay. So this will complete Sea of Thieves Rush. Um, it took me a while today. A bit of a rambling. I think because I'm tired, I'm a little bit verbal diarrhea. So apologies. Clean out your ears. Sorry for the smell. Alrighty. Oh, God. What's in your head? You got hit by the ugly train, didn't you? Um, actually it looks a bit like a sweet old grandma but just imagine that coming to kiss you oh, no teeth oh so like, kiss kiss little boy like, oh no thanks <laughs> no wonder Merrick went off on his trip it's like face sucking a megalodon with no teeth Oh, that's already down. Okay, let's see what I can do just in the last few minutes here. Let's go to... Well, let's have a look around. Probably not going to be able to do much, but who knows. I don't see anyone around. But rush complete, so I'm going to stop the timer while I'm poodling over. Seven minutes and s 24 seconds left on the clock. Uh, so you can play Sea of Thieves in a short window of time. You don't have to... Uh, you don't progress very far. You know, you're not stacking up loot on your ship. But you're having fun. You're getting out on the seas. You're doing what you like to do. Being more pirate. And, uh, yeah, fun way to spend 20 minutes, half an hour. And I love playing the rush, so and I love having you guys come by and interact with me. So thanks for uh, thanks for being part of the Spectrum Gamer extended family. Okay, starting to hit some rain here. Not seeing anyone else at all. I'm just hoping we'll come around this island and there'll be something or someone 
to uh, to interact with for the last few minutes of the stream but it's 8.23 I've got 8.30 start at work so I basically switch this off and then just log into all my work systems and I'm good to go I do love the weather on Sea of Thieves and, and the way things can change. I'd like to see more varied weather come in, but you know they've they've got this open world and and now they just want to kind of put things in it. And as I was saying yesterday, it it's, it's going to come the day where you're going to be playing a game and there's going to be the developers adding things real time to the game so it's going to be an ever evolving game they'll be putting things in taking things out there will probably even be be people playing the parts of of characters in the game instead of using AI to to have the skellies fight there may actually be people being the skellies and controlling them and fighting you just to give the game that little bit of um, unpredictability um, and uh, yeah I, I see these kind of games going that way more and more there's there's going to be game developers hiring people to play uh what would be parts of non-player characters uh, you know they'd be basically acting okay there there might be parts that if you interact or talk to them that they say scripted lines and things but otherwise they'll do and act and and move by actual other players moving them around and just imagine the <laughs> the rigidity of a game like this the fact that it's got set rules and things that are going on would be so opened up because people are add the element of chaos and unpredictability yes they're playing in a world that has rules but if you if you start putting in npcs that can can do any kind of random thing because they're actually controlled by another person um, in real time, then it's pretty cool. Okay, so we have a gem which I could restart the clock and in four minutes try and hand it <laughs> hand in at a, a sea post. I don't know where I am in the world. Oh, that gem dropped quite nicely on the banister there. So I'm right here. Golden Sands Outpost. Okay, let's do it. Let's see if I can get this gem handed in. I'm going to forget the rest. So, second rush underway with less than four minutes to go. We are going to do it. And i got to sail through the barrels. Oh, dang, dang. No, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. Oh, I missed it, I think. There's Golden Sands in front. Got a storm behind me. I'm against the clock. Four minutes left on the clock. It's nearly eight thirty. Uh, three minutes. It just ticked over. So let's do uh, clear. Let's clear. Okay, we'll do two minutes and thirty. Set start. Okay, clock's counting again. And trying to get an emerald handed in to the merchant. Merchant's over here. I'm gonna squeak as much time out of this as I can. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can head towards the island, just get a little bit more wind in the sails. Come up maybe close to the beach and then run it to the merchant. See, this is the thing. If I go directly to the merchant, I may not get enough speed to get to the island quick enough to get on the land to drop it off. But if I go this way and I go straight to the land a little bit and then turn, maybe it's all about beating the clock. So you've got to find the best ways to beat the clock. Anchoring. 
handbrake turning putting the light on just because oh, I gotta swim a bit that's gonna slow me down I got one minute eleven on the clock sell this to the merchant and second rush complete and there I thought I was done I wasn't gonna be handing anything else in but I got her done so yeah that's the whole point of the rush is to push yourself each time do something new and and make the best use of the time you've got to play so I pause in the clock and I like to finish out as always with a uh, a little bit of a tra la la booms yeah tra la la booms yeah tra la la booms yeah tra la la booms you guys have a great weekend happy friday enjoy the rest of your day and uh take care